Hey everybody, it's Angela here from it's free if you see .com. You have come to the right place if you are looking to shed the things that are holding you back and if you are looking to heal from trauma. I am a breakthrough coach and I help you shed the things that are holding you back and I specialize in helping women heal from sexual trauma. This training series is going to be all about healing and learning and understanding what sexual trauma is and what it is that you can do to move forward. You are in the right place if you are not fully ready to um, work with someone one-to-one, -one, not fully ready to tell people, even if you have told people and you are healing and you're looking for extra support, you have absolutely come to the right place. I wanted to do this because I feel like not everybody um, has information or access to this. And the truth is, is that when I was going through my healing and my recovery, I was looking for someone that was like me, that had gone through a wild, crazy, shame-driven life that, you know, was always out partying and trying to hide under the pain through working all the time and just kind of living life like I was and kind of turned everything around. And I didn't really feel like I had really found that. Um, I found people that, yes, had turned things around and unhealed, um, but I didn't feel like I resonated with them. I didn't feel like I was completely connected with them. And I kind of went through um, a whole journey and slew of things to get right here because I was very much afraid to talk about this. I was very much afraid of to really step into this calling and really step into um, my mission of helping women recover um, because, you know, it's scary. It's not um, it's not an easy topic. It's not a fun topic. However, um, it is necessary, and I do feel like the timing is perfect, and I do feel um, way more comfortable talking about this as I have stepped more into my power and more about um, myself and just really being able to do this and feeling comfortable and confident in doing so. But anyway, enough about me. Let's get into this first part of the training series. So depending on which, where you come in with the training series, this is the very first video. Just want you to know that because sometimes we want to like watch video for video and we get kind of confused and don't know where we are going or which video is next. So this is the very first part of the training series. Hopefully I remember to put that this is video number one on the training series. Uh, I hope I remember that, but we'll see what happens. Um, along with this uh, this video, you will actually um, have access to a free printable. Um, if you're just watching this on YouTube, you can get access to the printable. You will have to sign up with your email, but you will have um, this video delivered to you directly through email and also the printable. So um, I will upload this video. It will be available um, to YouTube without email, um, and you can watch it and just do that. But the questions really do help you go deeper and see where you're at and see where your standpoint is and what you're working with, really. So make sure you uh, download that if you are interested in doing that and really furthering your um, healing process. That will be critical there. Um, but if you're watching this just in general or you signed up with your email, make sure that you uh, check, uh, you check out the questions because they will be helpful. They will be powerful. So go ahead and do that. So let's, let's move on. Let's get to the meat. Let's get to why you're here. What is sexual trauma? Before I touch that, I want to address this because there are terms, <laughs> there are terms out there that are, um, are like sexual abuse, sexual violence, sexual assault. And I don't like to use those words or those terms because sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it's not violent. Sometimes there's not force. Sometimes there's not the idea of what we believe abuse is, is actually going on. Um, especially if you are um, a survivor of childhood sexual trauma, you know that, you know, you trusted that person, you were probably groomed into it, you probably felt it was normal and thought that it was going on in other people's houses, you still loved that person, you know, you still have all these, had all these mixed emotions, depending on where you're at with your stage of recovery, but, you know, you still love that person, there wasn't any force. You did it because you thought that that's what you were supposed to do, you're totally and completely groomed into it. And it doesn't, it's not forced at that point in time, right? It's not violent at that point in time. 
So I like to use the word trauma. And I like to use the word trauma because it's all encompassing. Um, and, and I say that because what I may view as trauma, you may not view as trauma. And, and that goes vice versa, right? So that means that even if your boundaries were crossed, even if you were uncomfortable, even if you were never actually, um, physically touched, but someone said something to you or someone was purposely doing something in front of you that was inappropriate and sexual, but still consider trauma. Anything that crosses your boundaries, anything that makes you feel uncomfortable is trauma. It will hold on to you. So yes, that means that sexual harassment is included with this trauma because we all perceive things differently. We all have a different history. We all, um, we all process information differently. So when we say trauma, it's all encompassing, whether, whether it's words, whether it's penetration, whether it was when you were a child, whether it was you were an adult, um, whether it was in um, a domestic uh, violence situation, uh, whether you were in a relationship with someone, that it, it includes all of that. And I feel like that's important to talk about because I don't want to miss that other stuff. I've had clients come and tell me that they didn't believe what happened to them was trauma because there wasn't any penetration. And yet they have all the symptoms, all the signs of PTSD from that incident. And so that's, that makes, that puts them in a position that they can't fully heal and let go because they don't understand why they have it. And it's because they've been conditioned. It's not necessarily their fault. They've been conditioned to believe that that's not um, trauma or that's not sexual abuse or sexual trauma because it wasn't abusive. It wasn't violent. It wasn't forced, right? So that's what we totally associate that with. And I want to make it clear that it is all encompassing. Those things do cause trauma. Now, I've um, done some research, and I feel like this is very important to talk about because um, I did address this in my group, and there's a link below if you would really like to get in on my Facebook group and have support and have um, women that are on the same path looking to heal. Um, we talked about this about, you know, some of the most asked questions, um, you know, through Google, right, because I was very interested and because I had read something that says you should go and do that as a, like a business standpoint and so I went and did that before I really transitioned and um, one of the most asked questions is is this um, sexual abuse is this sexual trauma and I, I feel and I want to address this because I feel like if you have to go and ask someone whether or not it was trauma the answer is yes and it's because you are almost in conflict with yourself and that means that there were some type of boundaries crossed that means there was something that happened that made you feel like it could have been abusive that it was unwelcomed and it was traumatic for you so the answer is yes if you have to go and search and see if that's true the answer is yes and and uh, for me that's just the end of it your body knows you know whether or not you really trust yourself or connected to yourself might be a different story but you really do know so yes the answer is yes if you have to go and search for it, the answer is yes. So remember that sexual trauma is all-encompassing. It includes everything. It includes the cross of your boundaries. It includes people saying inappropriate things to you. It includes whether it happened in your childhood or whether it happened as an adult, whether it's currently happening. It is all-encompassing. Whether it happened in a relationship, which is also critical, right? Because we think, oh, well, we're in a relationship with that person, so there's no way that this is um, traumatizing or it's abusive or it's force or it's rape or these things, right? We just assume that it's not because we're in a relationship with someone and that's not accurate. So I want you to be fully aware that trauma is all encompassing. So in order to help you see exactly where you're at, um, I do have a principle that I did mention and you want to go ahead and check that out. That will help you dig a little bit deeper. I suggest you get a journal and write in it, um, and that will help you. Also, when you sign up um, with your email, any of the new training series or training videos that come out, you will get them directly emailed to you. You don't even have to re-sign up again. So you can totally um, just sign up one time with your email, and then that will be it for you. You won't have to sign up again. So 
make sure you sign up for that so you can get those questions so you can start digging deep so that you can really um, start recovering and start healing. Again, I'm Angela. I'm the founder of AsfreeAsYouSee.com where you have come to the right place to heal and let things go. I will see you later and I hope to see you around in the groups on social media and I hope that you have any feedback and any questions that you might have. Please feel free to drop them below and I will see you later.